All right, we're back with another high speed video. Um, if you notice right off the bat, there is cocoa powder. So that is gonna be the subject of today's video. A while back, I guess it was popular to do this trick. And it's not really a trick, it's just science of dipping cocoa powder into milk, water, and then touching it with a toothpick. And apparently it gets rid of the wet layer really fast and then reveals the dry powder. Uh, this reaction happens really fast. So I figured it'd be a perfect experiment to do in slow motion. So you may have noticed this uh, long thing, this is the pro blend, ta-da. And we're actually very lucky because I also have this other smaller, more generic macro, super macro lens. Uh, th that's it right there. It's in cursive and I can't read it, but uh, let me know what it says in the comments and how to pronounce it. And this also works out as well because I have two high speed cameras at the moment. I have the Free Fly Wave and I have the Kronos 2.1. Uh, we're gonna put the pro blend on the wave and we're gonna put the super small macro lens on the Kronos. Also, I'm sorry if this is a very quick intro kinda. I, I get you guys want to see like more of the action as to why I'm excited to film it. And I'm trying to find a way to cut down on the intro because I feel like sometimes these videos just drag out with a bunch of long explanations of absolutely nothing. So, uh, sorry about that. All right, so this is the current setup at the moment. I had to actually swap out the one macro lens because uh, it was actually to the point where to get it to focus, I had to be right like up against the lens which uh, with cocoa powder, liquids and whatnot, probably not the best thing to film, um, but it was just way too close to even focus. But here's a general setup. I didn't put the uh, probe lens on the wave yet, but uh, yeah, so that's gonna be filled with milk and uh, there's a spoon, cocoa powder. The idea is the Kronos is gonna film this at 1080 at a thousand frames and the wave's gonna do a crisp 4K at 420 frames. All right, so quick change up in plans. Uh, I moved the light from here to this small little tripod thing. Uh, that is because it needed to be closer. And uh, with that being said as well, you're probably not going to get to see the milk in the reaction real much. I'll just get like a third person kind of over the shoulder shot. Um, I don't even know how well I'll be in frame. And I also, for safety reasons, have uh, glasses on because it's, it's or sunglasses because it's, it's really bright and uh, Hurts. Should also mention I am using milk to try to get to show up on camera better, but don't be alarmed, the milk is expired. For the most part, the camera should be in focus. Got it? Uh, see how that looked. All right, let's turn off these lights. Holy crap. Oh, whoa! I don't even know how to describe that. It's like, uh, it's like almost like, it reminds me of just like if, uh, you know, like a balloon almost, where like if you pop in, it just like kind of just ignores whatever and just peels apart whichever way's uh, the fastest for it. All right, let's look at the uh, Kronos footage now. Oh, whoa, hey, oh, wait, wait a second. Look at that. Yeah, it's the same way. It's like just the best way I can think about it is just like a balloon. That is very quick. The way it just rips away is so perfect. It really is just like a balloon, almost. A very powdery balloon. That is really interesting. Science, you learn things. Round two this time. Uh, I'm gonna keep the wave at 4K, just so we have a really good comparison to. And then I'm actually gonna switch the uh, Kronos to, to 720 and it's gonna be at 2000 frames. Should hopefully give us a little bit more detail what's going on. Um, Honestly, it might be too slow, but we'll find out. Yeah, so I know this is gonna be hard to kind of watch, but what I actually did is I bump the the probe lens to f22, so there should be more detail uh, in the 4K. And then the 720 is just straight up extremely close. Uh, let me get some new powder. Oh, I made a mess that time. I'm gonna be honest, I really can't see what the heck I'm doing. Oh my eyes. All right, let's look at that. Oh, yeah, look how perfect that is. Oh. It's so crisp. Let's see how that looks at 2,000 frames. <laughs> well. 
we're gonna end up doing that again because as you can see my giant thumb just got in the way i'm pretty sure that's my thumb or my hand but man that is slow Yeah, n nice one. Nice one, Harrison. You re you really you you outdone yourself. Same exact thing. Oh, I got it. I I didn't even realize I got it. Was that me that got it or was that the uh the witch call it? Did it just go itself? If it went itself, that's going to be kind of cool actually. I'm very curious to know how that actually went off. Okay, there we go. Oh, wrong camera. Oh, great, I wasn't even recording. I didn't get to do it. Okay, that was it. That has to be it. Oh my god. Oh. so weird. It's just cocoa powder, right? Oh, I got it. Yes! Finally! Oh, you have no idea how much trial and error that was and how much cocoa powder I wasted. My thumb's a little bit in the way, but hey, that's, that's fine with me. Perfect. Oh, look at that. It almost looks like you're playing a video in reverse. That's the best way I can actually describe it. After looking at that even slower, the best way I can describe it is almost like you're playing it uh, in reverse, where like milk went on top of the cocoa powder and covered it, but instead you're just reversing it so it looks like it kind of dries up. That's kind of cool actually. All right, now let's, uh, let's clean up this milk. If you were wondering, this is the aftermath of this. Just a lot of cocoa powder on the table. Still a good bit left, but uh, that's not gonna be fun to clean up because uh, yeah, water doesn't pick it up. That was actually very interesting and really surprising. I mean, when you see it in real time, it happens so fast that your brain doesn't know essentially what to comprehend. The best way I could describe that was it looks like a balloon almost where a balloon, if you pop in, it tears away. It kind of has that same effect with the cocoa powder where like the wet layer just kind of peels away like that. And it almost looks like it's not even liquid at that point. It just looks like a solid layer, of, like rubber, I guess is what it reminds me of. And then the other way I see it is like, if you were to play it in reverse, so instead of, you know, removing the wet, you are adding the wet. So that instead of the wet layer moving away, the wet layer is being added if you played it backwards. And this kind of experiment, it's really nice to have that quality 4K footage right off the bat from the wave, but then from the chronos, from that same shot, it's really nice to have that slowed down footage that's still detailed enough to see exactly what's happening. So I'm really fortunate to have both. So if you wanna see anything else while I still have both cameras, let me know, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.